Welcome to a new episode of my tutorials about how to access hardware from a Qt GUI. In today's video I will show you how to use self-updating diagrams in Qt by using the QCustomPlot library. Down here you can see my hardware setup, so once again I have my CP2112 USB to I2C UART and TPO bridge. And this time I've connected a BMP280 temperature sensor over the I2C pins. And today I will write a little Qt GUI which will contain a self-updating diagram in which we can monitor the temperature measured by this BMP280 temperature sensor. Okay, but first we have to download some or we have to download the QCustomPlot library. Therefore I went to QCustomPlot.com. This is the webpage of QCustomPlot and what's quite nice here we have a tutorial section and in here you can find a lot of information how to use the QCustomPlot library. So I will click on download and I will download the latest version. And I will just save it in my downloads folder here. Okay, done. Okay, so now let me create a new Qt project. So I want to have it in my programmings folder and I will call it um, temperature monitor. Okay, here I will just go with the defaults and I have my new project. So now let's add some files. So what we have to do is we have to extract QCustomPlot. So let me do this. I will go into my temps folder. I will, um, yeah, un or I will the archive QCustomPlot and now I have this folder in here QCustomPlot and in here I have the QCustomPlot.cpp and QCustomPlot.h files so let me just grab them and copy them into my um, temperature or my projects folder um, temperature monitor okay and then I have prepared a class for um, reading out the BMP280 temperature sensor. So therefore I have created these two files with a class for the BMP280 temperature sensor. We'll take a look at it just in a second. So I will copy these two files also um, into programming temperature monitor. Okay, now after we have all the files here in our projects folder, let's import them in Qt Creator. So here I'll click on add existing files and I will select bmp280.h, bmp280.cpp and qcustomplot.cpp and .h. Okay, and now the files will appear here in my project. Another thing I have to do is here I have to include print support because this is needed by QCustom or by the QCustom plot lab. Okay, now let's take a look at the class for reading out the BMP280 sensor. So here is a class, I've called it BMP280. And what you can see here is I um, have these methods, so a constructor, a destructor, a init function, which needs the device file for the I2C bus I want to use and I have a method get temperature to read out the current temperature from the sensor and that's all. If you want to see how to access the I2C bus from a C program I already have made a video about this and I will put the link into the description. Okay so with this knowledge let's create our GUI. So here in the GUI editor all I need is a widget. I have to add a widget here and this will contain our diagram. So let me rescale the window a little bit. And now I will right click on my new widget and promote it to. I want to promote it to Q custom plot. So it should be an object from the type Q custom plot. And here it's including our the correct header file. And all I have to do here is I have to click to add. And this will promote this Q widget to this class here. And here in my objects editor, I will rename it from widget to my plot. Okay, so this is the UI. Now let's do the coding. First, I will go into my 
main window.h file where I can see the class of my main window and I will add some private variables. The first thing I will need is a, a time variable from the type double. Then I have to include several things. So for a cyclic update I will use a queue timer and for and I need to include my bmp to ad.h file and I will also include queue custom plot.h so I have everything in here. Then I will need an object from the type bmp to ad and I will call it bmp to ad. And the last thing I need is my queue timer so I will declare a new pointer from the type queue timer and I will call it my timer. Okay, and the last thing I will need here is I need a new private slot which will be called by my queue timer. And this will be a void function I will call update diagram and it doesn't need any arguments. Okay. And now let's let me open the main window.cpp and implement what I need here. So first I have to set up my BMP to AD sensor, therefore I will just call the init function and I have to pass in the I2C interface I want to use and I want to use I2C1. Because if I go back to my terminal and if I run I2C detect minus L, you can see I have two I2C interfaces. I2C1 is my CP2112 I2C bridge. Okay, normally I should do an error checking here, but I will skip this for now. Next thing I will need is I have to set up my diagram. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I have an empty diagram and now I want to add a graph. Therefore, I will use um, the my plot. Okay, didn't find it. Let me check why. Okay, yeah. Now I should see it. So I will use the add graph um, method to add a new graph. And now I let's um, yeah set up the x axis. So here I will call set label to set a label, and the label will be time. Then the next thing I will do is I will set a range. So the time will be in seconds and I want to have a range from 0 to 70 here as a start point. Okay, and now let's do the same thing for the y-axis. So the label here will be temperature and the range should be from 20 to, yeah, let's take 60 degrees. Okay, so now we have set up my diagram, the last, then I have to init the time variable. So I will set time to 0.0, .0 .0, which is our start point, and last but not least I have to init my queue timer. I've already done a video about how to use queue timer, so if you are, if you want to learn more about it, I will put the link into the description. Basically, first thing I have to do is I have to create a new object from the type queue timer, then I have to connect um, the timer to um, or an event of the timer, in this case the timeout event to a callback function and this will be main window update diagram and last thing I have to do is I have to start my timer and I will update it every 250 milliseconds here. Wow. Okay, and now the next thing I have to do is I have to up implement my update diagram function here. So let me add it to main window.cpp. First thing I will do here is I will increment my, the time variable by 250 milliseconds. Then I will read out the temperature by using the bmp to ad get temperature method here. Um, I have to admit I've made a little mistake while implementing this function, so I have an offset of about 4 degrees here in the temperature, but I can see that um, a value is changing, so it's okay for my use case here. Maybe I will do more troubleshooting why this get temperature method isn't working 100% correctly. 
Okay, now I have a new data point, which I will add to my plot. I want to add it to graph um, zero, which is my only graph here, and I will use the add data um, method. So here I will pass in my time and the value I want to add, which is my temperature. Then I will check if the time is bigger than 60, because in this case I will do, I will change the range of my um, diagram. So let me copy the set range of the x-axis. And I will set the range to time minus 60. And this will be time plus 10. So we have a moving diagram. And the last thing, to apply the changes, I have to call the replot method. This will apply the change. Without the replot, the changes won't be visible in our GUI. Okay, and that should be it. Let me try to compile it and let's see how much mistakes I've made. Save all. Okay. I have a warning. I have four warnings. Okay, but it worked, so let's try to run it. So I've switched on my camera again, and let's hit the run button. And here you can see the window. We have a diagram with um, our labels, and the scales are correct. And you can see the temperature here is about 28 degrees. So as I already told you, I have an offset of 4 here, so my real room temperature is 24 degrees here. But if I take the sensor now and put my finger on it, we can see the temperature is rising. And if I release it, the temperature will be fall, will be fall down again. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So let's wait a little bit to see what's happened if the time expires the 60 second mark here. Because then we should see the whole diagram is moving to the left. Yes, now, yeah, now you can see the diagram is moving to the left. So this is how to yeah, create self-updating diagrams in Qt by using QCustom plot library. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee on buymycoffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.